Okay, hello, welcome back. Hello. This is Joe again. <laughs> um, going off the back of the successes of our new hit single and in previous videos, we decided to come back at it again, and today we'll be reviewing a British Heart Foundation charity shop for you all. It's one that both Joe and I are very familiar with. It's an old favourite of ours, I'd say. Here it is, the main doors. Thank you, Joe. Oh. Like, what should we look at first? I don't know. What do you reckon? Hmm. I think we could go and try some clothes on the UK. Oh, okay. We could, we could do some clothes. Oh, wow. So I have, I have to say, um, um, this, this chair shop doesn't have the best selection of clothing. Um, there have certainly been... So I've certainly been to shops with better selections. Ah, oh. yeah, yes. Thank you, Joe. Hang on, Joe. You take the camera. Yes, this is what Joe's trying to show you. Ah, here. I mean, what do what do we have here? We have a multitude of dress-like ornaments, but you know, none of them are really that good. They're all made in a Chinese sweatshop for fifty pence, no doubt. <sighs> Anyway, this this is actually quite deceptive. Like the shop looks like it's this big, and you come over here and you realise this is actually four times the size. And there's a bunch of new beds and stuff. Mm. To be fair, that's not a bad thing. No, no. Uh, you know, no, I think we need a few more bigger charity shops these days. I'm a bit lacking. Does that not spin? No. Joe has found a Rubik's cube which doesn't spin. Mm. Hmm. Hmm, newfangled technology, huh? Joe engaging with the adult entertainment. <laughs> Down here we have a Tardis. Doors do not open. Oh, that's. Oh, oh, would you look at that? It's got a cardboard cutout out in it. And there was, was me expecting a real TARDIS. That thing just randomly played without me pressing it. <gasps> it's spooky. Look at the things. E. Oh, is there an F? There is not an F. I can't pay it respects. That's sad. Oh. Wow, they, they do new toys in these places. I did not know that. Or are these, these new toys or are they just bagged up old bad, toys? Bad, bad. Wow. Ooh. Oh, black, black, black. Wow. This is personally only a thing. To be honest, this, this is as interesting as the way it shows. Like, there's not as much, much to be here, here because it's actually a reasonably sound shot. Which, which is quite sad. sad. But, you know, you know. They were selling calculators for three pounds here. That's true. Three pound calculators. Oh, and by the way, if you want to buy a calculator off me for five pounds, just hit me up. And go hit Joe up. Uh, calculator don't, don't for literally five. beat me up. No, but. no. We should state we do not condone violence of any kind. And that would be wrong. Weird. Oh. Anyway, I don't, I, I don't know. I, I feel like the shop was really good at first, and then it just sort of like levels off a bit. Um, to be fair, we probably went in there a few times and got we we just got less interested. That's possible, in all fairness. Right, so I think it's time to subject you all to misery, and that means that I'm now going to look through all the CDs, and you're going to have to watch. Shout if you see anything that looks good. Oh, what's that now? Foo Fighters, no. Creed, no. Osmonds, no. Dida, no. The Darkness, never heard of it, sounds edgy, no. Tony Crisp, no. The Darkness, no. Yes, our new single got the approval of Pastoral Joe, which we thought was quite impressive, in all honesty, like, given the fact that it was basically slander, but... This is so far proving very disappointing. There's really 
not much here today, you know, normally there's a bit more. Oh yes, that's the third Frank Sinatra CD of today. Mm, dear. I'm sorry, dear viewers, this has not gone as well as we would have hoped. Normally there's at least something here. I, I don't think I've ever walked out of this shop before without a CD. So this is proving immensely disappointing. No! <laughs> and, like, all of this is just empty wasteland land. Like, this is... What's happened? Oh, yes. There is. It's a Terry Pratchett book. Now, now I'm quite tempted. I do, do already have this book, but this is a hardcover version. <laughs> hmm. I, I would bother. Uh, yes, yes. Which is very nice. nice hardcover for version though. I might come back next week and get it if it's still there. Go eat its dwarf and another oven miss. Hmm. I, might, I might get this. This is how I win every, every argument. Sounds like it would be useful. And if nothing, it's an entertaining read. Hmm. The dangerous book for boys? Wow. Because girls aren't allowed, allowed to be dangerous. Well, it also implies yeah. boys don't know how, how to be dangerous. That That's true. You've got to read the book to be dangerous. I guess, yes. Se separate boys from, from, from men. Oh, yeah, that's just true. Yeah. Uh, survive the fit the fittest, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, look, there's a friend being... That's sad. Well, I, I don't know. Is there anything else you want to look at here, Joe? I feel like we're exhausting our supply. Yeah. I mean, it didn't help that we came into this significantly more tired than we were expecting. It's a new reason. Done on short Ooh. Hmm. So yes, now we are entering the bottom half of the room. No, of course, yes, no. No, we have absolutely no intention of breaking it, <laughs> believe me. Ah. <laughs> uh, Demographic. Hmm. Run by the boomers, for the boomers. <laughs> And Joe, I'm going to, to get you to take over film now, so you can film me buying this. Alright. Okay. Hello. I'm still here. John Job, Joe. It's a special kind of job which doesn't pay you. Oh, they're going to, to complain about the sideways video again. <laughs> What's the verdict? Right, I, I, yeah, I, I quite like this store. I'm, I'm going to give it a solid 6.6 .6 out of 10. What about you, Joe? It's say, say 7. I'm immensely disappointing all things considered. Oh, we're getting strange looks off the people. Now we're proper bloggers. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Alright, uh, cheers, guys. It's been a pleasure. Uh, yes. Yes. So I stop recording. Stay tuned. Do you reckon you could play a tune with, with those? Oh, bravo. Oh.